I've had people over the years, I had one lady specifically I can think of. I mean, she kept getting stent after stent after stent after stent. I mean, this lady had so many stents and they had her cholesterol rock bottom and they kept saying, we don't understand why you keep getting blockages. Well, homocysteine will block an artery way quicker than cholesterol. We did, of course, our panel and her homocysteine sky high. So we started giving her something and then she brought it to the cardiologist. And the cardiologist, oh, here, here's your problem. She's like, well, how come you never checked this? You know, that was kind of the thing is, okay, you know what it is. You know that it causes problems, but yet you don't check it. Well, one of the things that I know from a lot of insurance companies is they won't pay for homocysteine unless you've already had a heart attack, which is kind of weird. You don't want to wait until you have a heart attack to be able to get your homocysteine checked. Now, not only cardiovascular, another thing that has been implicated in, and you may know somebody in your family or somebody that, that a friend or whoever, that might benefit from this. And it's also been really, really implicated in dementias of all kinds. Yeah, dementia definitely is increased by high homocysteine.